Let's see the accuracy of the sundial at Konark Sun Temple in India, both in 1250 AD. People still use it today to tell time. Let me show you a short clip of a tour guide figuring out the time, and then I will explain how the sundial works. As you can see, the sundial is pretty accurate, and people are amazed by it. Let's take a closer look and see how it works. The sundial has eight major spokes that divide 24 hours into eight equal parts, which means that the time between two major spokes is three hours. There are eight minor spokes as well. Each minor spoke runs exactly in the middle of two major spokes. This means that the minor spoke divides three hours in half. So the time between a major spoke and a minor spoke is an hour and a half or 90 minutes. Now at the edge of the wheel, you can see a lot of beads. If you observe carefully, you can see that there are 30 beads between a minor and a major spoke. So the 90 minutes are further divided by 30 beads. This means that each bead carries a value of 3 minutes. The beads are large enough so you can also see if the shadow falls in the center of the bead or on one of the ends of the bead. This way, we can further calculate time accurately to the minute. The sundial shows time in an anti-clockwise fashion. At the top, the major spoke stands for midnight, and this spoke stands for 3 a.m., and this one for 6 a.m., and so on. When I place a finger or a pen at the tail of the animal in the axle, the shadow will fall on the edge of the wheel. Now I simply note the bead where the shadow falls. Using the math we did before, I can easily tell the current time precisely down to the minute. Imagine how much time and coordination would have happened between the astronomers, engineers, and sculptors to create something like this 750 years ago. If you are observing closely, you would have three questions in your mind right now. The first question would be, what happens when the sun moves from east to west? Since the wheel is carved on a wall, the sun would not shine on this wheel at all. How can we tell time in the afternoons? Now, the Konark Temple has another wheel or sundial located on the west side of the temple as well. You can just use the other sundial that will work perfectly from afternoon until sunset. This is the second and the most interesting question. How do you tell time after sunset? There would be no sun and hence no shadows from sunset till the next morning sunrise. After all, we have two sundials in the temple which work only when the sun shines. To this question, I want to point out that the Konark Temple does not just have two wheels like this. The temple has a total of 24 wheels all accurately carved just like the sundials. Have you heard of the moon dial? Do you know that the moon dials can work just like the sundials during nighttime? What if the other wheels in the temple could be used as moon dials? Many people think that the other 22 wheels were carved for decorative or religious purposes and do not have an actual use. This is what people thought about the two sundials as well. Believe it or not, people thought that all the 24 wheels were just carved for beauty and as Hindu symbols. About 100 years ago, it became known that this was a sundial when an old yogi was seen calculating time secretly. Apparently, selected people were using these wheels for generations and for 650 years. No one else knew about it. They say that when they asked him about the purpose of the other 22 wheels, the yogi refused to talk and simply walked away. And our knowledge of just these two sundials themselves is actually very limited. You can see how there are multiple circles of beads. You can see carvings and markings all over these sundials, and we don't know the meaning of most of them. For example, this carving on a major spoke has exactly 60 beads. Notice how in some carvings you can see leaves and flowers which may mean spring or summer. Notice how in some carvings you can see lemurs mating, which only happens during wintertime. So these sundials could have been used as an almanac for a variety of different things. Now, if this is how much we know about the two sundials, you can understand how limited our knowledge is about the rest of the 22 wheels. Notice that there are clues on these wheels that people have overlooked for centuries. Notice how a woman wakes up and looks at a mirror in the morning. Notice how she is stretching, being tired and ready to go to sleep in the evening. 
striking cultural depictions from the past with amazing detail. For centuries, people have ignored these hints and thought that these were carvings of Hindu goddesses. This is also a perfect example of how people think ancient, unexplainable carvings are just for beauty or religious purposes. Our ancients spent a significant amount of time creating this technology still accurate today. There is a very good chance that it was created for a valuable and scientific purpose. Does this lend to a geocentric-based system of our Earth and cosmos? Ancient geocentrist theorists say yes, and suggest that history has been robbed from the masses by a systematic information control system of esoteric knowledge, handed down to only a select few. All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. Believe only half of what you see and nothing that you hear. Edgar Allan Poe